Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review the CNNJ mod 12.1 or unofficial build ROM for OnePlus One. So if you go to settings menu about phone you can find I am running on CNNJ mod 12.1 which is based on Android 5.1 and you can see other kernel details and other build numbers are there. So basically if you look at the phone, basic phone options here is a dialer which is lollipop dialer and then here is the messaging app with new settings this is the signage mode messaging app and then signage mode stock browser here and if you take the camera it is actually google camera not the stock camera which comes with the one plus one and uh, if you pull down the notification as usual you will get the So as Android 5.1 is the base of this ROM, you can see some uh, Android 5.1 features as well. I will discuss on the way. So here is the notification area, we have the brightness control, Wi-Fi. So now Wi-Fi settings is more like uh, advanced settings are there, many things you can do. Bluetooth and then uh, mobile data, airplane mode, portrait mode, torch, location, cast screen. If you click on the battery icon here, it will launch the battery options here so you can change the battery mode and you can also save the battery saver threshold and if you can by clicking here you can switch between the users and it's all working fine no drug bugs and all and then if you click on the volume button you can see priority mode which is introduced in 5.1 with all these features and then you can change the volume of the notification are all from here itself you don't need to go to settings menu and let's take about the settings options so here is the setting options with Wi-Fi controls and all all these features you will get on almost all the CM 11 or 12 versions sounds display lights from here you can choose the expanded desktop daydream Customize the uh, battery light and the not vision light. In sounds, it's all usual. In themes, you can change the themes. So you can change the all aspects of the ROM. In notification manager here, like uh, app notifications, notification access, and filter notifications. Lock screen options. And you can customize the button if you need navigation bar here. You can add that and then. You can customize all those options as well as you can customize the capacity buttons like here. home button, uh, menu button, and volume button, everything. And play the control is there so you can use your volume button to skip the tracks. And here is the reorient so if the you can even swap the volume button functions if the screen is rotated. And then gestures so these are the three default gestures or screen of gestures. And the battery options we already discussed and then uh, next is the security and then users you can add more users here system profiles are here you can customize all aspects of profiles status bar you can customize the look and feel of the status bar like clock battery percentage and all you can customize brightness control and then you can also customize the notification drawer like cube pull down option this is the cube pull down option show weather you can see and you can even customize the tiles in this quick pull down options so that is there then here is the application manager accounts privacy location data and time accessibility storage every options you can see and if you click or tap on this one you can see the it's open the alarm and if you are moving you can see a little animation is there which is introduced in the 5.1 that's it nothing much if you look at the menu and the other stock applications you can see the audio effects which you can customize the audio equalizer for each and every devices like bluetooth device speaker usb everything besides that browser and calculator calendar camera see clock is there clock and then download application and then a file manager this is the cm file manager and then gallery application a music application with the CM so this is a pretty neat music application 
and phone that's it so overall this is like a slimmed version of version of gm12 fan one and it's working very neat no no bugs no serious bugs nothing like that it'll work if you want to know how to install this rom there is a link in the description to show you that just just go and check it out thanks for watching please subscribe for more